Yeah. Does she ever assume that there are, are he, whoever your waiter, waitress is, that way they're to, your sons? Way to assume gender. Sometimes yeah. he just says that. Sometimes he says, These are my two like, kids. that's one of his opening lines. Two different yeah. mamas. Got my two sons here. One of them's gay. Can you guess which one? <laughs> I did say that. I did say that. They don't like that one. They, they hate they that They know one. that's a trap. They hate that one. That They <laughs> they hate that one. I was actually out, we're out with my three sons, because <clears throat> Biggins is also there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, you know, they never guessed the two-year-old magically enough. So, <laughs> when when we were out with it was Corey, me, Ryan, and Margo. I wonder what they thought that dynamic was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they they thought she was being sex trafficked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this, blink if you're okay. <laughs> but so for, for for real, uh, pull up pull up. Uh, can we find Dispo bitch on the? Where can we find a picture of <laughs> um, of Renton? I mean, we get an investor lift, dude. When I was we, talking we, to the, it wouldn't take long to find it. I was talking to the people at Investor Lift the other day, and they just happened to be looking at our account. They're like, "Oh, Dispo bitch, that's nice. We really <laughs> like that." Like, yeah, that's a little bit of hazing. He's so he'll good. see if uh, hazing. Whoa, not the good. If you want to go to investorlift dot com, I can text you a login. Okay, and if you'd also put up your phone number, do what? So, yes, we could pull it up. What you what you need to do is you could just go to Investor Lift on your phone right now and take that screenshot and send it to him. Okay. Or or save that picture. Did you take that picture on your phone? I I think it was his. Does he not have social media? Brendan? Yeah, Snapchat him and tell him to send you a picture. Send a selfie. Say, hey, send a selfie. We need it for the we need it for the podcast. But anyway, so we go to eat at Roadhouse, Spoonie. It's me, Braxton, um, Brenton, Eaton, and we have a nice. Um, is this the Texas Roadhouse how, or the uh, how old other was Roadhouse? She? How did she say her age? Mm-hmm. Like, not older than twenty-one. Okay, definitely younger than twenty-one. And did you make it awkward? Um, African American waitress, smoking hot. Okay, and um, anyways. Brenton, Brenton is brought up. I don't know why he brought up Tinder, but he brought up Tinder. Did did he? Was he just randomly talking to it? No, I, he uh he was on there, and I brought it up. Like I was like, "What you doing over there?" You know. So he brought up Tinder. So he was on Tinder. He's swiping. on he's on Tinder messing around and brought it up. And so I started joking around with him about it, and I was like, y- "You know, problem with Tinder is, you know, y'all don't know how to talk to girls. Like you don't know how to say." hello to a lady they're just swiping yeah and uh and so then he's like look it don't matter anyways on tinder because nobody ever swipes on me (laughs) i was like oh man that's rough that's so rough it's one of the things andrew tate talks about all the time i just texted you the uh picture to Um, your email just like those dating sites are just like high value male targets like, like a lot of the normies just don't get swiped at. It's like ninety percent of dudes. Well, I told him he's running it wrong. Like, if you if you're on that, like, you better just swipe on every single thing there because yeah. otherwise, it's all hypothetical. Just got to run the numbers too. If he got on there in a set of overalls, like <laughs> holding some weird <laughs> hey, stuff, look at like, it. just he needs to play up the weirdness of him. Like, where, where does he live? Uh, Waco. Waco now. Okay. So, so he. <laughs> Jesus, that's a terrible what, picture. What, he hates it. Oh, my God. Does he have a nose ring? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's a Playboy bunny. <laughs> Which is even weirder. It is even weirder. Like, Playboy has been out of style for my entire life, so I don't know. Honestly, if he moved to, like, either Brooklyn or Santa Monica or something, he'd be chilling. He doesn't look that <laughs> like the, it, the picture yeah. really does look does pretty. Make, it's yeah, a bad does, picture. He does look but, like but, you would find him on. in Greenwich. So, Village. so, so our nice waitress comes walking up, and in this time period, you know, he's unfigured out. He can't get swiped on, so she walks up, and I was like, "Hey, <laughs> it's like if you saw him on Tinder." So first, I think the first time she came up, we we're like, "Where are you from?" She's like Waco or whatever, and so she was from. Did you Waco. asking about uh, Jewett? Yeah, well, no, that was at the end. But but we already knew she was from Waco when she came up for the Tinder conversation. So we already know she's Waco. She's not like, you know what I mean? 
it's pretty local, not from like Southern California or something like that. It's like going to be weird about everything. But so I asked her, I was like, hey, if you saw him on Tinder, would you swipe on him? She just broke his heart, huh? <laughs> she, not, she, she tried so hard to be nice. She tried so hard to be nice. She was like, well, you know, um, <laughs> just kind of depends and like. How I'm feeling and like what the bio is like, yeah, you know. No, just, and then she just walks off, and I was like, "That was the that was the nicest no, you ever got." And he's like, "That wasn't a no." She said, "I was like, that was a no, my guy." Oh, that sucks that he didn't know it was a no. He didn't know it was a no, and and then she comes back, and we're like talking to her, you know, like about her being single, about him. She's like, I can't find a nice guy. Yeah. And he's like. And he's just sitting there, and I'm like. Oh, that's rough. God, I'm like, you guys are assholes. What are you. like? And then she walks off. I'm like, are you just never. He's like, what? I'm like, you're not going to talk to this girl? He's like, I don't know what to say. And I'm like. Hey, she literally Thursday just, night, let's go to dinner. 7 yes. o'clock. I'll pick you up. Like, hey. What's your address? What do you like to eat? Like, hey, what's your Snapchat? Hey, anything. I was like, I was like, oh my, I felt so bad. But Braxton, I know that Braxton can't talk to girls, but Brenton, yeah, that's why I'm not saying anything. <laughs> yeah, Brenton talks this big game, like, you know, and, and I put him on the spot. Girl talking about being single, um, gave him a polite no on swiping on him, but said, but did say in that that he is looks better in real life you know probably translate better in real life well because you said like is it the hair she's like no i don't I like I don't, that doesn't look bad like yeah um but I, that, I wonder if i handed him a layup like chance to talk to a girl without it being creepy on his behalf you right. get what i mean you were the creep because i'm the creep right and and there's also a little bit of sympathy play going on there because she yeah. said why is he picking on this fucking nice guy it's perfect yes very right. he i mean he had it like if he would have just said hello, but the, but their generation don't know how to talk to women. But I also I don't In know that life. girls I don't know that girls would respond to that. Like my cousins are all his age; they're a few years older. They're all lo- early twenties, and I'm always asking like, how do y'all how did y'all meet people? Because I don't think they talk. Everything's text. It's on Snapchat. And when I said, what happens if a dude just walks up to you and asks you for your number? They're like, that's weird. Like that's that's the that's the only way we knew how to do it. It's like the only we well, didn't have all the fucking channels. Do you think? Do you think it's weird? I don't think it's weird. Do you like think if you have some, weird? I don't. If you have some rapport, yeah. Like, do you think it's weird if she's working? I don't know. Why would I care? That's what I mean. Like, I feel like My that's some rapport. Like, if you've had some di- dialogue with her, like, I don't think that is. Yeah, because it's like the are third. You, are trip you back- saying is? I, I just want to ask him. Are you saying if she's like at work when you're asking around? Yeah, oh. like oh. the. Yes, not the, like if she has a job. I was like, if, I, if I'm walking so past a girl at Target, like, I feel home. like that's weird. You, if you talk to a girl at Target, you feel if like I just walk weird. past a girl at Target, and I'm like, you you won't number. talk to a girl at Target. I feel like that's weird. Yeah, like what? There's that's there's weird. no that's like, dude, at your age, it's Target, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> like oh. you could be at Hobby Lobby right now recruiting from all the Baylor girls that got to make some shit for their sorority. Recruiting you could just what? be over there that's, for dates. He could just be over there meeting girls. <laughs> Recruiting You'd have success at Hobby Lobby. I've seen. I've gone to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> you got to go to where the girls are. I'm all I'm trying to say is this: He thinks it's weird to talk to a girl at a grocery store. Yeah, that's that's like, like the perfect place. It's way I'm, less stressful than being at a club where you're like, way, "Hey, hey!" Just yelling in her ear. <laughs> yeah, it's like like. Mm. You know, I, I've never done it, so I don't. I I can't confidently say. You got to go what? in awkward. You'd be like, "I love cucumbers too." No, <laughs> I mean, no, obviously, if there's <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> you, if, you there's, got, if there's the rapport, but like sometimes people are just trying to get their shit done and don't mm. care. Yeah, I feel like they um, will tell you though at the same time. Yeah, right. Like if they don't want to talk to you, they're going to make that clear. But what I'm saying is, like, you're at the grocery store. She is shopping for cat food. You're on the cat food mm-hmm. aisle. You know exactly what to talk about. Yeah. It is right there. What kind of cat do you have? That, I love yeah, cats. Yes. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I would not I would not feed that kind of food. I would feed this other kind of food. Oh, dude. I would never thought about that cat. What made you switch to that brand? Yeah. Like, what, why are you... <laughs> that kitty litter I heard has um, is bad for their paws. <laughs> you, need, 
you really need to go with this other kind over here. It's d- right there. It's the easiest conversation to can, start. Can I ask you some questions? I've been thinking about adopting this cat that I saw at the shelter the other day. Where I don't know what to get for one. Why would you use that food? Yeah, like okay. I'm, I'm actually. <laughs> I get what you're saying. I'm, like, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> only on the ca- literally right there in front of you. I'm, I'm only on the cat food aisle because I was going to so go good down to sales, th- man. How is this not? I was going to go down translate. to the shelter. And and pick up one of these one of these cats. I seen a post on Facebook. One of them ain't got no hair. What do you know about that? What do you know about hairless yeah. pussies? You, oh, well, I wouldn't start with well, that. Oh, at the oh whoa! <laughs> but I would wrap that conversation. Up. Dude, you've been so helpful. Maybe you could go with me. We could go get lunch, and you could go with me to look for this cat. Now yeah. you got a cat out of the deal. But here's <laughs> and want, then, you got a date. It, and yeah, this, you return the cat. Uh, commit. <laughs> get, like the, the shelter take returns. No, it, it it's it's just so easy to have that conversation to start that conversation. It's not hard at all. It's like oh, Velveeta shells and cheese. Oh yeah, processed oh, food. My kind of lady. I love plastic cheese. It's, it's so much better than real cheese. Yeah, I mean but you got to own that. Like, look, I wouldn't buy craft. You know, guys. Put some hormel chili in. Yeah, there. he was Oof. paying twenty dollars for hand jobs over there in Florida. Don't uh. They'll support that brand. I don't understand how any of that just related. Like I, don't, I was following. I don't understand what just got discussed. 